Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to talk about the Umpteen Crow remake and movie remakes in general. More specifically, why all the remakes? Why oh why must they remake everything under the sun? Don't get me wrong, I'm far from against the concept of the remake. After all, without this concept, we would never have had movies like uh, E.G. 1986 The Fly or 1988's The Blob, John Carpenter's The Thing, uh, etc. And more uh, recently, the Dune movies by Denis Villeneuve, for instance. Oh, and yes, there, there are a lot more worth checking out. Remakes that all have in common that the directors took the source material and ran with it, giving it their own unique twists and or tweaks and or distinctive input and or improvements as they saw it. In some cases even so much so that the remakes often basically could be perceived as completely standalone films, separate from and or merely loosely based on the original movie version. In some cases, like with the Dune movies by Villeneuve, the remakes, the remake, remakes serve as a purpose to represent the source material, the books by Frank Herbert, even more closely, more accurate than in previous iterations. Then there's the Untamed Crow remake. The original movie from 94 with the late great Brandon Lee was a very impactful and charged film to say the least. Impactful and charged because it was well written, well executed, as well as a greatly performed milestone in the genre with a severely tragic and sad development being the terrible tragedy that is the onset demise of the late great Brandon Lee. This is a movie that merely because of this severely tragic and sad development alone can't and should never have been remade ever again. Yet since uh, there have been several attempts to capture that lightning in a bottle that was 94's The Crow starring the late great Brandon Lee. Bar the fact that there are many different opinions regarding the other iterations, some liked and others disliked, some and or all of the all of them. One truth firmly stands and that's that the chance of any iteration ever to match match the OG movie from 94 is very slim to non-existent. Then of course rises the question why? When, why then, and when should one, must, and or want to ever do or shouldn't do a remake? It all depends on whether the original can be outdone by the remake, the new iteration. How, if at all, the remake, new iteration, can improve the original, take it one step further perhaps, if possible. However, therein lies the whole point. Allow me to elucidate. If a black and white silent movie would have received a remake in the late 60s with full color and sound, it could be perceived as an improvement on the original because the original was silent and black and white. However, does it then not take away from the essence and the impact of the original? Another example. Can it be presumed that an older movie is lesser than a newer movie because of the technical advances with effects and etc. For instance, well, many actually consider the effects of older films, practical effects, to be better precisely because they are practical, more impactful, more vibrant, and more vibrant than the newer, duller, more flat, lifeless, and nowadays clearly much overused CGI, CGI effects. And see where I'm going with this? It's a rabbit hole of major proportion and one I'm not delving into any deeper. 
The point I just want to make is remakes aren't a bad thing, but too much remakes isn't a good thing either. And that's something we now clearly are being confronted with. Remakes that even couldn't possibly be standing further from the original than they make one wonder why they didn't make it into its own unique thing. Which of course has to do with and is purely because of the brand recognition. And there you have it. The wrong and reason why they churn out remakes with clockwork regularity. And 9.9 .9 out of 10 why this new Crow remake has been called into existence. Anyway, this is my take on the matter. Do you have a take or don't you care? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care and until next time.